Yo, what's good? It's your boy Eddie, Jamari, Greg, and of course Orlando. And we just finished watching the Gators. Ah, ugly win versus Miami. Ugliest win I've seen. <laughs> Ever. I've never been so calm and mad since. You know, I don't know when, but that that was emotional, bro. I've never been so emotionally invested and almost hurt. Like I don't know, bro. And if it, if, it doesn't feel like we won at all. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like we won. Yeah, it was an ugly win. Um, but we came up with you know with a win. My score prediction was thirty four seventeen. That did not happen. I think that it could have happened. If it wasn't, yeah, that kid is wilding out. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Walker. I mean, Molly Walker at my my court. All right. So anyways, getting back to the back into this. Um, it was an ugly win. The first quarter, the you know, Miami drove down the field and, and, and scored three points. Then we got the ball back, and it was a, a quick three and out, honestly. I don't know if you guys remember, remember that, but it was a quick three and out, and yep. then we had to go for it on the fourth down with a punt, fake punt. Which is and picked up, like, what, five yards or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got enough. He got enough. Right. And then the, the very exact next play, the next play, we run a screen to our wide receiver to Tony, and he literally breaks like 1,600 tackles, mm -hmm. and he gets uh, he gets a touchdown, so seven to three. At that point, I just kind of felt like, you know what? We just put up right where we left off. We beat Michigan, smashed Michigan, and now we're picking right back off, picking up right up back. where we left off. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I tweeted, I even tweeted, said, well, it's been a good breeze. Miami is food, you know. <laughs> not talking about shit, you know what I mean? Things are going great. Very angry. Very, very stupid. Little did I know, I was in, for the next three hours, I was going to be in disarray. I was going to be stressed, and I was going to be emotionally, <laughs> yes. emotionally unstable. I had palpitations. I was sweating. It was a horrible day. I mean, a horrible night. The know? headache is still going. Yeah. This, this I, face. Go, I need to go sweep. After the uh, the second turnover and second uh, interception, oh my gosh, Eddie, <laughs> Eddie was smiling, bro. bro. He just sat there, bro. He was just like, yeah, it, it was horrible, bro. <laughs> then we go into the second quarter, and uh, Bubba Black backs or whatever his name is. He hits a 42 field goal, makes the game seven to six. So we're like, okay, whatever, you know, seven to six, cool. expected, you know. But then. We're driving the ball, and Felipe Franks and Michael P. Ryan, I guess they had butter in the damn hands, and then he fumbled it inside the 10. So we could have had the score, what, 14 to 6 now. Nope, that wasn't it. We fumbled the ball. We stopped them. Grabbed the ball again, inside the 50 again. Fumbled it again. And now the game is wide open for Miami. So Miami then goes, uh, wasn't it, Darren Williams hits... What's his name? Jordan for 25 yards for a touchdown. They drove it down the field. And number 29, Juwan Taylor is cheeks. Because he literally <laughs> had to tackle right in front of him and he couldn't make it. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. So then going into the going into the halftime, it was 13 to 7. And that's what I predicted for the opposite way. I predicted 13 to 7, Florida was gonna pick, you know, we on top. That was not it. My guy, that was not it. So then we go into the third quarter. I'm like, okay, well now we're gonna clean it up. Then one's gonna be yelling at yeah. the people because he was pissed. Hot. He was livid. No, that wasn't it. Uh, I don't even, the third quarter was a blur. I know that we scored a touchdown. Defense is playing it hard out. Oh, what, what happened? Okay, so that's what happened. What, what happened was that on the punt, we punted the ball to uh Miami. to Miami and then they muffed it and then we picked it up inside the tent. Yeah. Right. But they Frank Pence uh, uh P run for uh eight yard touchdown. Nice which, in the route, beautiful in the route. Yeah. With horrible throw though. Yeah. That game was lucky, to be completely honest. But he made it. And then we hit a uh, twenty seven yard field goal. So now the game is seventeen to thirteen going into the fourth quarter. Two minutes into the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Please. The Gators come out here and can't tackle DJ Dallas. He plays like 1,600 tackles as well, and he goes for a 50-yard touchdown. Down the sideline, bro. How you down can't tackle? All you do is push him out of bounds, bro. You can't tackle somebody down. There were no safeties around. 
I mean, the closest guy was Jeremiah Moon, who's a DN slash linebacker, mm-hmm. and he had to die for it. Like, there was nobody near it. And he has a 50. So now the game is 20 to 17 with 14 minutes left in the fourth quarter. We get the ball back, and we drive, and we drive, and we drive, and we drive some more. But no, there's another fumble or another interception, something like that. Some crazy, right? In the fourth quarter? In the fourth quarter. That was when he, this when uh, Fuite threw it away again, right? Yeah, he threw it away again. That's what happened. So then we, <laughs> okay, so we fumbled it. Yep, fumbled it. Then we fumbled it again, but we scored a touchdown. The Felipe Franks like dove into the uh, touchdown and, and we got it. So now the game is uh, 24-20. And Miami had the ball for the last five minutes. And that was the longest five minutes of my life. Oh, it was man. literally like 40 minutes of them personal fouls, um, getting sacked, but then making the timeout. And then there was a holding call, but there was another PI. So then it goes up to five yards. First down, first down. Miami, yo. And Miami was just all right there to win the game. Honestly, we were giving, my, Florida was giving the game, the game away. Mm-hmm. It was horrible to watch. And then we got very lucky that the call was made correctly yes. for the last PI. Because the linebacker was not doing anything to the wide receiver, but they were calling the PI, mm-hmm. and that would have made them get on the two yard line, which would have been an easy touchdown. Yeah, we been, had no timeouts. It would have been the third PI in a row, or some third PI in a row, literally. Yeah. We had like three or four PIs in literally the last two minutes. That's crazy, bro. But what we did was the ball got back, we sacked them, game over. Gators won 24 to 20. Very ugly game, and that was it. Um, honestly, like, we got a lot of work to do, and we need to worry about what we need to address one thing, which is the secondary. You know, the corners are great. Marco, honestly, Marco and um, Hendo, they played great in coverage. They need to work on tackling more, which yeah. is, you know, almost every corner, you know, so that's whatever. But in safety, man. Yeah, and, and also, it's Marco's first game with versus a rivalry, so he did okay. He yeah. was rusty. You can right. tell, but I mean, it's his first game in almost a year. Yeah. The last game was versus Kentucky last year when we got Molly Wap. Eleven months ago. So like, I honestly like. It, it, the safety position needs to be addressed. Batch Stewart needs to. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know. If it's not like, worth it, bro. We is not worth it. Yeah. That's, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but he got suspended. He wasn't there, and now and it showed. You know, we need the best players out there, and we're not getting them. Um. So let me read you some stat lines. Jared Williams impressed me. I don't know about you guys. He did. I yeah. didn't. I didn't think he was going to do good at all. Uh, it just the writing was on the wall. Freshman starting tackle was fresh. Two starting tackles were both freshmen. He played one game last year. You know, now he's playing against the top five defense, top ten defense. You know, in the country, the right. first game on TV, national television, everybody's gonna watch. It. So it was just like you know he's gonna perform horribly. I thought he did amazing. You yeah. know, that's let's let's give it to him. So yeah. you know. He, he, went, him. he went 19 for 30, 214 yards, one touchdown. And I don't think he had an interception. I don't think. He did have fumbles, but they all got recovered. So yeah. technically, he didn't have any fumbles. Yeah. He did get sacked 10 times. So his old line was just awful. If he actually yeah. had a decent old line, they, uh, Miami could have beat us. Mm-hmm. Honestly, we had 10 sacks. A little bit. <laughs> Zuniga and Greenard went, they went crazy. Yeah. Went crazy. Greenard played the game. In my opinion. Green yeah. Yeah. Play the game. Uh, DJ Dallas had 12 carries for 95 yards, one touchdown, and I think something Jordan, a tight end or something, had five receptions, 88 yards, one touchdown. That um, that touchdown, the the first one that uh, that Miami, I think it was the group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. tip from Green. Yeah. Green. Yeah. 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 He, Green he, he reached out the tip. tipped it, and so for some reason we can't make a play on it. There was two plays like that. All right. Um, Felipe Franks, he to me did not look like this stat lines. He won 17 for 27, 254 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, and one fumble. Could have fooled me. And those stat lines to me, I mean, other than the two interceptions, that is very alarming, but everything else, you have two touchdowns, 250 yards. That in any other game will be great. You know, that's good. That's a good thing. But, yeah. But, it, it sure didn't look like it. <laughs> At it, all. it didn't look like it. Uh, in, the, in the fourth quarter, when we had the game in the bag to go, this man threw the ugliest interception that even my grandma could go out there and pick it up. 
<laughs> like it was that horrible. He literally threw it and gave it to the guy. And luckily it didn't get taken back for a touchdown. Because there was nobody been, there. It should have been a touchdown. It should have been a touchdown. That should have been a pick six easily. So like Frankly, thankful. it wasn't. Thankful. Thank God. Thankfully it wasn't, because now we would have been crying in this video. I, I don't know if I could be sitting here doing this, honestly. I don't know if I could. <laughs> I this, probably would have quit. I don't know. This bro. podcast. Yeah, man. <laughs> I just just thankful. Thankful we won. You know, it doesn't feel like a win, but it's gonna be a long season for it. It is. If it's not addressed. Right. And, and I think the other stat lines aren't very big. Um, you know, P. Ryan only had 42 yards. Hammond had 93 yards. Over reliable. Doesn't drop any passes. No. But other than that, man, I think that the Gators, to me, what it, some strengths is that our D line is disgusting. 10 sacks. That's, I mean, that's. Doesn't make yeah. any sense. But then our offensive line, we thought that it was going to be a problem because were everybody's like very young mm-hmm. or any experience. So we only allowed one sack versus a very good defensive line for Miami, yeah. which is impressive. That's one yeah. of the best defensive lines in the nation. So those are the two things that I think that we that we're good at. Now the two things that I that I think that we need to address is number one, tackling. Uh, we were arm tackling, and you can't do that versus other teams. And number two, Felipe Franks needs to go through his progression. Um, he is okay. He's doing a little bit better, but at the same time, he focuses on one receiver, and then that's it. He doesn't focus on anyone else. There was that a play. There was three people wide open. Middle of the field. Middle of the field, wide open. But you give it to one person, to everyone else blocks. It's a, it's a, it's a 90-yard touchdown. But he passed it to one person that was covered. The dude got choked, slammed, and almost died. Yeah, exactly. That little, <laughs> that little half real route to so, um, P. Ryan. To P. Ryan. He threw a high in the air and left P. Ryan out to the die. You know what I mean? It's just like, you can't stuff. do that. Like, he's a red shirt junior, so basically a senior. Like, you got you got too much experience with playing like that, bro. Especially in the big game. Like, that and then the interception late in the game, that had me living. Living. So, yeah. you know. A lot of things need to address. This bye week is going to be very crucial if you want to do anything this season. Right. Honestly, like, I will be sick. If you play like that every game, bro, we're not going to beat anybody, bro. We're not going to beat Missouri. <laughs> we might be back in the FSU for the church. That's a whole different story. <laughs> but honestly, truly, like, if we want to, like, we're supposed to take a step up. We took a big step back from what we did last season. So, hopefully it's just another season where we start off so we catch momentum. You know, so. Right. Right. I'm, uh, I'm a little intrigued, not intrigued, but you know, I'm a little, you know, anxious to see what we do because you know, we gotta stop this playing around, bro. That's what it is. Yeah, we can't, we can't. Yeah, the play, the play calling has to be a lot better too. Oh, man. oh yeah. The, uh, I don't know what Dan Mullen was doing in the first, the first half. I mean, for example, Florida has like six receivers that are all over six four. Literally. And Miami only had four DBs on scholarships. And they were all under 5'10". So why wouldn't you just throw it up? I, I just don't understand. And when we did, Hammond went up and got like a 60-yard pickup. And Hammond is like six foot. So I, I, I don't know what Dan Muller was doing. Maybe he just didn't believe in his offensive line too much yet. But like, you can't be doing that against an LSU. You can't do that against an Auburn. You can't do that against a Georgia. You gotta trust your, your old line. You gotta trust your QB and you gotta throw that ball. Cause you can't, we only have 42 rushing yards. So obviously, we need to throw the ball. Mm-hmm. That's it. Honestly, yeah, because Dan Mullen was playing. Dan Mullen was out there doing the ass Madden offense, the ass course on offense. You did on the NCAA football. That was ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Dan Mullen, this man, had, I, I just couldn't like wrap my head on what he was doing. I don't know, bro. But we got to tighten up real fast. Because, like, Dan Mullen's getting paid too much money to go out there to be doing that, doing that bullshit, bro. So, you know, <laughs> that. Like Eddie said earlier, tackling, we, 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 we alligator arm into people now, using our arms, trying to talk to people, bro. Like, he's a grown man, but you can't talk with no 200 pound running back with your arms, bro. So, you know. Okay, yeah. So, we gotta, we gotta tighten up, man. Especially with dumb penalties, too. Yeah, like, dumb penalties, bro. Like, hitting laid out of bounds, hitting the kicker laid out of bounds, yeah, you yeah. know, like, yeah, like shit like that, bro. Like, yeah, you pick that up, man. There's so many late penalties. You tackle somebody for like negative 10 yards and then you go off into the space and say something stupid. Like you can't do stuff like that. Because yeah. it's going to cost you in bigger games. And even with, our, our, we said our D-line got what, 10 sacks? 10. 
and they were holding almost every play. Literally, literally tackling them. Holding on. almost every play, had to hold us, and we still ate. And we still ate. Well, other than that, man, there's a lot of positives. There's a lot of negatives from this game. So hopefully with this bye week that we have in week one, we can address it going into like, I think, BT Martin, who's a trash team. Yeah. Um, we should beat them soundly, but oh, that's tough. I'm focused on all other teams like Tennessee, um, Kentucky first. Kentucky, all that, you know. We got Kentucky in three weeks, bro. We got we got to get this. Sign up. We got to get this done fast, bro. So, fast. so you know. But other than that, man, we, we're going to be doing that for practically every Gator game and, 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 and every big game. Right. Yeah, we have. Part, so. so next week, I don't know what the big game is. I think it's, it might be Oregon and Auburn. I'm not sure. It's not Duke and freaking Alabama. If you're going to watch that. <laughs> Good luck for you. you know, but um, Oregon, I think it's Oregon and, and Auburn definitely going to break that one down. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, other than that, thanks for tuning in. We're going to do this every week. And yeah. Like, comment, like subscribe, subscribe, follow share, us on Twitter. Follow share. us on IG. Takes a second. Don't ever forget it. Yeah, appreciate you guys. As always. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.